Welcome back everyone, my name is Echo, hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. In today's Minecraft video, we have a brand new beta and preview for Minecraft Pocket Edition, the Bedrock version. This is the version 1.19.10.24. Here is the official confirmation from Jay Wells, Megaspud, the community manager. He said, new Minecraft preview slash beta is rolling out with a tweak to the LA duplication cooldown, along with some other fixes. Check out the change log. If you want the change log, it's down below. I also wanted to talk about this. Corner Hard, who is a Minecraft developer, posted this teaser earlier on in June, and everyone was questioning it, like, what is it? Can you take pictures like the camera in the old days of Pocket Edition? I think it's related to this tweet. He then said in 1.19.10, you'll again be able to post screenshots to your realm's feeds. So if you have a realm and you haven't been able to take screenshots, it's coming back. This is a very small beta and preview, but that's good news because that means 1.19.10 is close to release. Next Tuesday, I believe Minecraft Java Edition is getting a new update. So potentially Bedrock is too. Let's start off with features and bug fixes. It says experimental features. They have removed the vanilla experimental toggle since it has no active experimental content. It also says removed the wild experiment toggle since it has no active experimental content. And all that means is when you go to create a brand new world, create new in your world, whether you've got the new UI or the old UI, when you go to experiments, at the top it'll say gameplay and it would just have spectator modes. Of course, there's no point in having a toggle for the wild update since we actually already have the wild update. I imagine this will once again be updated when we find out whatever the next update is going to be. And I want you guys to leave a comment down below and tell me what update would you like to see in Minecraft? We do have a change with the LA. This is also on Java. It says LA duplication cooldown is now five minutes up from 2.5 minutes. So the developers introduced a very cool late feature to the wild update. And that is if you have an LA and you play music around it, it begins to dance. If you give it a shard, it will actually duplicate into two. Now, of course, the LA can be found in the Woodland Mansion dungeons. Let's turn this off real quick. It could also be found in the Pillager Outpost, but that's it, that's it. And obviously, if you find them, you're only finding a couple of LA's. Obviously, we're Minecraft players. We like to hoard mobs, items, everything. So yeah, if I was to then do this, play this, give it this, and then try to give it another one so it will duplicate again. I have to wait five minutes now. But I think this is a great feature because, honestly, Amethyst Shard, I don't know. It doesn't really have many uses, does it? Moving on to changes with mobs. It says, fixed a bug that caused an empty trader llama spawn egg to appear in the creative menu in pre 1.19.10 worlds. So it sounds like a bug, but in case you guys don't know, if you now type in trader, you have two spawn eggs, all right? So you can, as you can see, spawn the trader llama on its own, but you can still spawn the wandering trader with two llamas. Seems like it was appearing in pre 1.19.10 worlds. Stability and performance changes fixed a crash when assigning an invalid entity to mob spawners. We do have a change with touch controls. It says fixed touch controls, right D-pad button, not working when the D-pad area overlapped with the hotbar area. We got a bug report. Been a problem for a couple of versions here. The right button on mobile is broken and I can't move it to the right. So if your buttons here are overlapping over your hearts or XP or your armor, then it just doesn't work at all. Basically, you can go forwards, you can go left, you can go back, you can crouch, but you just can't go right. Let's check this video. And here is a perfect example. This person's having the hardest time of their life. <laughs> trying to play Minecraft. So that has been fixed and it's coming in 1.19.10. My suggestion is to try and make your 
Um, D-pad, not overlap. It's not your fault, but this is still an ongoing issue. And the last change in today's video is to do with commands. They said they have improved the performance of the locate biome commands to mitigate stalls on the server while searching for a biome that is far away. We got a bug report. The forward slash locate biome command freezes the world when the desired biome is very far away or in another dimension. It's only been a problem since last preview. Of course, that's when they introduced the locate biome. If we type in forward slash locate and then we do biome and we try and find ourselves a mushroom island, in some cases, if it was incredibly far away, it would kind of temporarily freeze your world until it located it. So this should be fixed in single player worlds and also on servers. Another example is they would do forward slash locate biome and they would try the shore, for example. I'm just keeping an eye on the mobs there. As you guys can see, it doesn't find one within a reasonable distance. If you are trying biomes that don't exist, by the way, because they did some changes in caves and cliffs, that's where people were experiencing the freezing. If we type this one more time, the mobs, see, I just keep, keep an eye on the uh, trader villager here. He does, they do very, very temporary, still freeze. Yeah, you can see it. You can see it. Everything freezes for a hot second. Maybe when people were doing this previously, it was freezing for long periods. Again, we're in beta, we're in preview, so these things are bound to happen. Like I said, it's only a matter of time until 1.19.10 releases. In the meantime, just be careful. Make sure you back up your worlds. I hope I've done my job in keeping you all updated. If you could drop a like, I really appreciate it. Have a wonderful day. See you next time.